Hi there. Um, this is my dog Nugget. Um, he's Cocker Spaniel. Um, as you can see right now, he's in um, a pet Cocker Cut. Um, it's summertime now, and we like to go to uh, the park and play and run in the woods and stuff. And he gets covered in burrs, so um, I kind of transition him into a short cut. Um, although I found if I take my dog from this kind of a cut to a full shave down. He looks a little funny to me at first. His little legs are just so small. It looks like chicken legs. So I kind of transition him. Um, the first trim I do in the springtime is I take the skirt off, um, shave the whole body and, and the belly, and leave the legs a little longer and just trim them up a little bit and leave his cocker ears. Uh, he gets a mohawk. He doesn't, doesn't really get a proper cut at all, but you know what? Who cares? He's my dog and I can do what I want with him and I think he looks adorable. So anyway, I'm just going to show you how I transition him into, uh, I call it legs because <laughs> that's all that's basically left when you do it. So anyway, um, I have already done his paw pads, his sanitary, his face and his ears. He needs a traditional cocker ear and a traditional cocker face. So if you want to look at my other cocker um, you can see how to do that. And I'm not going to trim his paws today because um, I'm kind of liking the big bell look on the bottom. So if you want to see how to bevel your dog's paw, you can also look at my other clocker for that too. So basically for this cut, it's a summer cut. So I use a number seven, which is going to be a pretty short cut. And normally I start at the base of a dog's head back here. But since he gets a mohawk, I leave it a little further. So I'm going to start back here where I where I leave his mohawk and go back in the same direction the hair lays. And he's dirty, so he's not going to cut perfectly before bath. This is just prep work. And then I'm going to bathe him, and then I'll finish him after that. Now, I'm taking his skirt off, so I'm just going to follow all the way down and around his belly. I'm not going to take anything off of his legs just yet. I'm going to leave that for after bath when he's clean and it's laying the way it should be laying. Right now it's all fluffy and staticky and it just kind of looks funny. So he's going to have big pants on for a little while. Again, don't mess with the leg. Stop. If you're not sure where the leg actually starts, then just leave a little bit more than you should and take it off after bath. You can kind of tell when they're wet. If they're extremely hairy, you can kind of tell where things begin and that sort of thing. Alright, now. On the front, I'm going to lift his head and his ears up out of the way. Get behind the ear here. I'm going to blend right off his shoulder blade, basically right here you can feel. And then go right on under and clip that chest all the way off. Like I said, this is not a proper cocker trim by any means. This is, this is creative grooming here. So I am aware this is not proper for a cocker. Shaving his whole tail. Okay. All right. Now, this area here you have to be really careful. It's a uh, really thin skin and you can cut it quicker than you can blink. So you got to be really careful. Um, try at all costs to avoid going into it. I know you just saw me do it, but I'm experienced and I know where it is and I'm not going to hurt it. So try if you've got a clip there, get your finger on the skin and go with it so you're not going to come into the skin and, and clip it. See how I did that? Okay. You have to be really careful on the whole sanitary area basically needs to be extreme caution. Okay, so 
So that's basically all I'm going to do on his body before the bath. Now, I'm going to try and show you how I clip his mohawk. Now, this is how I do his mohawk. Um, for those of you who are interested. And this haircut, by the way, can be done on any long-haired breed. You can do it on a Shih Tzu, a Yorkie. I mean, you can do it on anybody you want to do. Schnauzers. Schnauzers are really cute in this haircut. Um, not necessarily the mohawk. I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the body style with the full legs and short body. It's, it's maintainable and it's really cute, I think. Um, so if you like it and you've got a long-haired dog, then I'd say go ahead and try it. Um, the mohawk is totally personal preference. This is my dog, and this is how me and my husband like to uh, to groom him. It's a bit long right now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clip on it. Uh, basically, create a mohawk, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a separate video, I believe, on how to spike and trim your mohawk on your dog. So basically, we'll go ahead and start and show you how to do the, the clipper work. Um, I like to go to where, you see, um, the back of his head ends right here. So I like to go past that just to fill in that gap because it would, to me, look kind of funny just to have it end right there and just be that long. So I make it kind of long uh, down the back. Anyway, what you're going to do is fully part it over to the side. Find the middle of your dog's head, first of all. And if your dog's hair is already long, then, then part it out where you want to leave. And take your clipper. I use the same blade I used on his body, which is a 7. And I start at the very end where I want to leave it, and I go at a reverse against the grain, right along the edge of where the mohawk will be. All the way down to the, the front of the head. Clean up all this stuff on the side real quick and get it taken care of. Okay. We have this stuff on top of the ear here. Once you've got the line for your mohawk in on one side, then you part it to the other side. And this gets a little tricky. I can use my clippers in either hand, so it's a little easier for me. So I don't really know how to go about showing you guys how to do it. You'll just have to kind of figure out what's comfortable for you. But I can use both hands on my clippers. So I just switch hands and fold it over and do the same thing on the other side. Trying to keep it in line in the middle as best you can. You can make it however wide you like. Um, I like I like nuggets pretty thin. Um, it's like a little punk rocker. He's got attitude anyway, so I find it actually helps because people see a dog with a mohawk and they think twice before they reach down to pet it. They say, can I pet your dog? <laughs> it's so cute. And I say, well, yeah, you can, but be careful because it's kind of cranky. Yeah, he's kind of cranky, but he's a pretty good boy. Anyway, so I'll show you here what the finished product is. So. You see, if he'll hold still, that I've cut the, sh the sides real short on both sides, leaving his mohawk. So there you go. And I'll show you in a little bit how we trim it. Yes, he's a good boy. Yeah.